हेलो एवन वेलकम टू माय साइंस कैफे नाउ वी आर गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ सेकंड ईयर केमिस्ट्री दैट इज वैलेंसी डिटरमिनेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टेक अ लुक ऑन व्हाट वैलेंसी इज इट इज द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ई स्टैंड्स फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉन इट इज द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लूज और गेन बाय एन एलिमेंट टू कम्प्लीट इट्स ऑक्टेट और डुप्लेट इज कॉल्ड वैलेंसी फॉर एन एलिमेंट टू कम्प्लीट इट्स ऑक्टेट दैट इज टू बिकम स्टेबल Uh, for elements to become stable, they have to complete their octet. That is, eight electrons in the outermost shell, or sometimes duplet. For example, of helium, helium needs two electrons to complete its outermost shell because it has only two electrons, uh, two atomic number. So, when an element requires the specific number of electrons to lose, either they need to lose the electron to complete its octet, or they need to gain the electron to complete its octet. that number of electron is called valency of that specific element to determine the valency first of all we have to consider the two factors that will play their part in the determination of valency number one is atomic number you have to memorize these things because you have to see that for 1 to 5 atoms that have atomic number from 1 to 5 they complete duplet and for the atom uh, and for the elements whose atomic number ranges from 7 to onwards complete octet and there comes the atom which has only 6 electron uh, that is carbon can complete either its duplet or octet so first factor has been covered that is atomic number you have to learn these three points for the element that are ranging from 1 to 5 will always complete their duplet and for the element that are ranging from 7 and onwards they will complete their octet now the second factor is outermost orbit that is valence shell we also call outermost orbit as valence shell for the elements which have 1 2 or 3 either 1 2 or 3 electron its outermost shell or valence shell will always be going to lose electrons because it is easy to lose electrons if it is less you have less electrons it will be easier to lose similarly vice versa case when the elements have 5 6 or 7 electrons in the outermost shell they will attract the pair of electron from other atom because of the electronegativity of course so for the elements that have 5 6 or 7 electrons in the outermost shell will always gain remember these signs i have used the signs plus for lose and minus for gain there is always because electron is negatively charged particle when an atom is going to lose an electron it will become positively charged so for losing the electron we use positive sign and for gaining the electron any atom that will gain an electron will always have more of a negative electron more of a negative charge so it will become negative so for gain of electrons we are using the sign negative and here also comes the middle part of the theory that is also covered in atomic number similar is the case in uh, outermost orbit if an element has four electrons in its outermost orbit it will either lose electron to complete its octet or gain electron to complete its octet now move towards let's move towards the example so that it will be more clear let's take our first example that is lithium and lithium has atomic number 3 same is the case for valency we have to perform electronic configuration on the basis of orbitals 1s2 and 2s1 2 plus 1 three electrons and the electronic configuration is completed now to determine valency remember we have to see how many number of electron is there in its outermost orbit outermost orbit here we have outermost orbit 2 and it has only one electron is outermost orbit according to the theory if you have either one two or three you are always going to lose some electrons to so either to complete its duplet it has to remove this one electron so that its duplet will be completed and it might become stable so the valency of this element is going to be plus one as i told you plus for losing as electronic as electron is negatively charged if it goes out of an element it leaves the element as positively charged let's move towards the next element that is fluorine let's perform the electronic configuration of fluorine 1s2 2s2 2p5 
when i say outermost orbit remember the the coefficient must remain same that is the orbit s2 and p5 comes under the l shell as i told you one the coefficient one represents k shell l represents uh, sorry two represents l shell three represents m shell and further so on so when i talk about the number of lettons in the outermost orbit and the outermost orbit is 2 as we cannot see 3 here so 2 is our outermost orbit so we have to add both the lettons not just 5 so 5 plus 2 it gives 7 it has 7 electrons in its valence shell so it's easier for fluorine to gain an electron as i told you earlier if an element having five six or seven electrons in its outermost shell will always gain electron how much electron does it need to complete this octet it's simple one seven plus one will give you eight so its valency is going to be one but remember the sign convention here when an atom gains electron it becomes negatively charged so negative sign will be here for fluorine Let's move towards another example. Here we have an atom whose atomic number is 33. But let's perform the electronic configuration of this element. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10 and 4p3 33 electrons are completed in its electronic configuration now we have to see the number of electron in the outermost orbit remember number of electron in outer most orbit outermost orbit or valence orbit so here we can see the outermost orbit must be 4 as the highest coefficient in this electronic configuration is 4 so the outermost orbit must be 4 and here we can see 4 is written between 3d 10 so add the number of electron of the outermost orbit that is 3 plus 2 will give you 5 so valence shell electron is 5 for atomic number 33 according to the theory I gave you earlier if an element has 5 6 7 electrons in its outermost orbit it's always going to gain an electron so for gaining an electron how much electron does it need to complete its octet it needs 3 electrons more to complete its octet so its valency is 3 and for gaining you have to write minus sign valency of this element is minus 3 so I think that determining valency is now easier for you it's what it was very easier easiest topic see you in the very next lecture till then take good care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe and share as much as possible to help the masses